How's it going? And welcome back to the final episode of the Coma Recut. We are basically escaping the school, so this is the climax. I didn't know where to go, but I think what we gotta do is we need to go uh, through the third floor. And the way we got here is we had to go through the first floor to the memorial hall, so we had to like loop all the way back around and then come out uh, through a hole that led us here. And now we can go to the cafeteria this way? I'm pretty sure, but it's really confusing. Like, you can't just go straight to where you need to go. You actually have to, like, loop around in all these weird ways. So escaping the school takes a while. And once we get to the next building, the west building where our classroom is, we're probably gonna have to do the same thing and it's gonna be a pain. Because the teacher will kill us in a hit. I have three hearts left. She'll kill us in one hit. Uh, she's very scary. Anyways, the school needs to be remodeled. It's so much better under my control. The kids, however, may be crushed to death. So the shade is controlling the school. Okay. Yeah, we, we got you. We, we, we got you. Shade's controlling the school. I basically have no healing. Is she always just out here? She's always just out here. Oh, that's rude. And there's no way to get out. Oh my god, she's coming for me. I need to, I need to roll past. Okay, I waited around for a really long time. <laughs> what? I waited for like two minutes. Okay. Am I just like screwed? Did I? I'm screwed, I think. I, I'm just screwed. That's it. There's no way to go. I'm screwed. Look at that roll. Look at that roll, baby. Tuck and roll. Tuck and roll. Okay, go down. You need to find a different way through. Oh shit, you idiot! Okay, we need to... We need to go down to the bottom floor. I'm gonna go into here. Um, shit, you are tired, aren't you? No, no, no! Go in! Go in! She's right here! Is I, I got poisoned as soon as I get... That's the worst. Oh my god. That's just the absolute worst. There's no way to hide. I'm stuck. You're tired. You're a tired boy. Anywhere to hide in here? Give me a closet! But I'm poisoned! I'm poisoned! Okay, if I can get to the cafeteria quick enough, maybe this poison won't matter. I don't hear her outside, let's go. Okay, let's just go this way. So we're supposed to go to the memorial hall this way. I believe we go into here and I f did find a hole in the wall right there, perfect. Now you can see we're at 3B and we can get to the cafeteria. So I need to rush to the cafeteria because I'm poisoned, but I am gonna check for some items on the way. Um, just in case there will be something I can use. Um, but hopefully- I don't think she's followed me here. I'm pretty sure I'm far away. Okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa! How did she get to that side? I went through a hole in the wall. There's no other way to even get here. How did she get on the other side of me? It's- okay, I'll, she's supernatural. Clearly, obviously. She's supernatural. Ha <laughs> ha She teleported. Okay, I hid in the bathroom on the second floor. She better not be out here. I swear- to God. Okay, we're on the first floor. All we gotta do is we need- Don't get poisoned! Fa. Okay, we gotta get to the cafeteria quick. It's fine, we can get to the cafeteria quick. That's all good. We're gonna wait for our stamina to recover. We just need to go into the memorial hall and get the heck out of here. Ecology, ecology, that's where we need to be, right? Yeah, geology lab. Geology, that's geology. Geology's great, I love it. Can we save our game on that board? We can't, because that board's stupid! Okay, so she's gonna be here. We need to wait for our stamina to recover. It recovers so slow. I guess, I mean, that's all part of the gameplay, so it's, you can't just run around and dodge her willy-nilly by sprinting everywhere. I, I get it. I get it. But my god, dude. You failed PE class too, didn't you? Okay, so this door's locked. Oh my god. She's gonna appear right in front of us, isn't she? Which is super spooky. She's gonna appear right in front of us. Let's check for some items. A chocolate bar. That's actually super useful. Eat it. Oh boy! So just to let you guys know where we are, we went through the geology lab in the bottom, we went through the hole, and we went to 3B. And now we're so close to the cafeteria, we just need to wait for her to get out of our way, and we can run there. But one hit and we are dead. One hit, we're toast. Okay, she's gone. She's gone here. We'll check for some items. An antidote would be nice. You can't even get through there. Okay. What about here? Nothing useful. Shoot. Okay, let's hopefully hopefully she's not here. What the fuck? You see that juke? 
The cafeteria, baby! Ooh! Ooh! That was, that was massive. Okay, we can buy so much stuff. Now, I don't think we can buy any uh, antidotes, though. Oh! Well, speak of the devil. There's an antidote right there. Now, let's buy heaps of healing items. I have 7,000 won, which is like $7. That's tons of money. And I'm gonna get Dev Espresso Coffee, which stops my stamina from decreasing, so I can just run out of here. I'm gonna use that. I'm gonna buy... Hamburger? Not hamburgers, actually. That would be unwise. I want to buy chips because it heals two hearts for one. And then we'll buy... Not hamburgers, chips. Because she does three hearts of damage. So it's a waste of money, like, buying the hamburgers that heals all of them. So I'm just going to buy chips. Stock up on chips. Boom. Okay. Tons of healing. I'm so glad we saved all of our money for the end of the game. Now I'm just packing some serious heat and I can just, like, sprint out of here. That is awesome. But I do want to check something. Okay, I got a coin. I, I do want to check what's on the fourth floor above us, like, through here. Is there a save point? Please tell me there's a save point. Let me save my game first, and then I can do it. Uh, there's the teacher. Every TV is playing this weird video. Okay, we can save the game. Thank God. So I can save the game here, and then I can go back and check. Because I do want to explore some of these rooms as we're escaping. There's been notes and stuff, and, like, you, ne you never know what you're going to find, right? Like this. We just found a note. Tome page exiting. To exit the coma, one must return to where he or she entered. The relic anchors itself to this point of entry. Like the eye of a hurricane, this point is where the coma's force is weakest. So we need to go to our classroom. From here, escape is possible. So long as I possess the full relic, I'll be able to leave freely. So, do we have the relic? Do we have the relic? I mean, my god, I don't... I'm not too sure. Um, something's blocking the way- Oh, we can't go back! Okay. Well, whatever. I wanted to explore a little bit. Let's not- whatever. No big deal. Let's, uh, let's go through here. Okay. Holy shoot. This is insane. So, I need to go to my classroom. There's dead people. And, of course, we can't go down the stairs. We need to go up the stairs. And we're gonna have to go, like, all the way over to the left side and then down the stairs to our classroom. Of course, it's not gonna be easy. Um, but let's check some of these classrooms. These classrooms are junky. Oh, boy. Anything in here? There have been some extra notes. Okay, bandage, who cares? We don't we don't need that. As long as Miss Song isn't here, I think we're good. Um, I could save my game again here. I mean, may as well. It's like just the tiniest little bit of progress, but you yeah, know, every every little bit helps. That looks like a note. Cool. Tome page relics. Every relic has both physical and spiritual forms. A relic that has been brought into the coma will usually manifest as its physical form. While here, though, one may hold what appears to be the relic in hand, that is merely its spiritual form. Sometimes powerful relics can bestow their owners with powers. Of course, the energy itself is without volition, leaving the owner to freely wield its power. Okay. So, are, is that what we want to do? I mean, that's what Seho was trying to do. He was trying to get some power. Um, yeah, Poison, guys. Yeah. No, they're attacking and missing. Good. You chumps! There's notes everywhere. Good. I, li I like this. If the integrity of a relic becomes compromised, for example, if it's broken apart, its strong pull in the coma makes it impossible to cross back to the physical world. This pull can only be escaped with the full relic. Owners cannot be roused from the coma by real world sounds or even physical contact. In a worst case scenario, one can become completely disconnected from the real world. And wow, yeah. And then in which case there's no turning back. Which would be horrible. Okay, so this building is not as big as the main building. Thank God. So we can go down here. I feel like Miss Song's gonna, like, come out of nowhere and just, like, wreck us, though. Um, so let's keep on going into these classrooms. We're gonna, like, zigzag our way down. Oh! I almost got smacked! Another note. Each relic has its own pull. This anchors the owner of a relic to the coma. Just as one is bound to the earth by gravity, so too is one bound to the coma by the weight of his or her relic. Without full possession of the relic that brought one here, exiting the coma is difficult, as gravity must be overcome. Okay. So, do I have that? <laughs> do I have anything? Like, I imagine- oh, wait, wait, wait. It's our report card, right? It's gotta be our report card. Miss Song's pendant. Uh, that's it, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Never mind. This has got to be the relic. The key to escaping the coma, yeah. Miss Song's pendant. Okay. Cool. I thought it was going to be, like, our report card or something, you know? Because we changed the grade in some of our classes. Thought that might be, like, our personal relic. But I guess it is this. This thing. Um. 
It's another hole in the wall. I wonder, like, should I go here? Like, where's that gonna take me, though? I'm kinda... I'm kinda scared. Like, let's see. Oh, Jesus Christ, that's so annoying. That took me to the toilet on this floor. And that's it! It took me to the toilet... And there's nothing here! It actually trolled me! That's bullshit! Screw you, game! I'm PO'd! That took me all the way back! So we do have to go into one of these holes, though, because there's no way for us to go all the way over to the right. So we just chose the wrong one. It's gotta be- it's gotta be this one. This one's gonna take us probably to the first floor. No, this took us into, like, one of those mis mystery rooms. Oh my god. At least I have, uh, something to heal the bleeding. Oops. Why do I keep on pressing the wrong button? Um, I don't have anything to heal the poison I got, though. Be a note. Oh, that's cool. The Shade. I found a rusty recorder that corroborates an old tale I heard. The victim it belonged to has become the most powerful shade roaming the coma of Sewa Hai. She's extremely dangerous now and beyond my powers of control. I was able to imprison her, albeit briefly, by using the recorder relic. Unfortunately, she has returned. Can she be eliminated for good? Okay, so this was written by Sumi Park. She's a ghost vigilante. Like, all of these, right? And then there was also these reports written by Yasol, which I didn't get all of them. I missed so much in the main room just because there I mean there was so much there you know there's so many places to go and um where'd I go I got into the bathroom on the second floor that's awesome okay um yeah I missed I missed a quite a few notes actually which is I mean that's okay it's okay it would have been interesting to get all of Yasol's notes oh my lord did I go through the wrong way again oh no no I didn't we got to go to the first floor and we probably got to loop all the way back around underneath here to get to the, um, yeah, to get to the other side. Oh my god, look at that guy, chillin'. Bandage, don't need your bandage. Although it is, it is nice to have this vending machine. Um, I would love to heal my poison. Boom. Boom, poison healed. Beautiful, let's get out of here. I wish there was a save point. Oh my god, like, cause she can kill you so fast. So I, I could be screwed, like, pretty pretty easily here. Yeah, I want to check these rooms for notes. Oh boy, I almost got hit. So many. So many enemies. Another note. That's good. Myunggil. Even with his this newfound power, all I ever wanted was some peace at school. That didn't stop Myunggil from punching me in the face, though. Then he has the gall to say, Don't swagger like that. That asshole can't talk to me like that anymore. Whatever the cost, my girl's gonna bring that son of a bitch to his knees. I'm gonna hammer that sly mug of his till there's nothing left. Written by Seho. Yeah, Seho just wanted revenge. He wanted power to get revenge on Myunggil. That asshole. I mean, Myunggil is an asshole. I agree. Holy crap, poison stuff. Jeez, Louise, leave me alone. I'm not going over. No. I'm not going over there. I feel like we've outrun Miss Song. Like, I haven't seen her in a while. Haven't heard her in the hallways. Um, pretty, pretty chill. This first floor is extremely chill. This is the this is one of the last classrooms to explore, huh? Oh my god, no. Oh my god, no. No, there's no closet to go into. Shoot. Oh, shoot! How does she hit me when I'm I've rolled past her? Okay, there's a save point here, thank god. There's a save point in the room, like, I basically died in last time. I died right outside of this room right here in the bottom corner. I was, like, right at a save point when I died. That's- oh my... My god! I, I can't go into the basement. That's, like, the actual exit to the school is down there. And there's a hole over there. I mean, where do I- where do I actually go then? Like, you can't go out there. There's no way to go here. What the hell? How do I get to my classroom? Maybe there's something in 1B. Like, there's gotta be like a hole somewhere here. Like any- no, no, I don't see anything. You, you think like it would link up. Wait, that wasn't 1B, that's why. This is 1B. Yeah, in this door, I mean, there's arrows pointing here. There's arrows pointing all over. It says to go into this room. But there's just nothing here. Like, whenever I go into there, I'm not actually going into 1B. I'm going into the other room. Even though it looks like I'm going- See, look, it takes me like- What is going on? Why can't I get into 1B? 
Something's keeping me out of 1B. What if I go into 1A? Is there any way to get over to 1B? I can't get into- I can't get into 1B. I mean, this hole took us the wrong way, right? Yeah, like, took us back over here. Um, but- but- it took us back over here. Oh, no, 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 I didn't- Ah! Dodge, 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 go through the hole, is this the way, is this the way? This is the way. Okay, so I went back into the hole which took me somewhere else last time, so I thought that that was the wrong way, but if you get past her and go this way, this way seems legit. Ah, 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 we're almost there! Get me out of here! Get. Me. Out of here. One E. Success! Okay. It's so quiet. Yeah, it's so quiet. This is the classroom. We're here, we're here. Creepy vines and black gunk are gone now. The classroom's normal. It's normal! Yes, let's go! 5 a.m. It's still dark out. Um... What, did we do it? The board has been erased. There are any names written here now. TV is off and that weird video isn't playing anymore. Oh! <gasps> is it over? Please tell me the nightmare is over. Look at him, he's just beaten and bruised. Over? Your nightmare has just begun! Oh shit. Oh, we died! What? We got a bad ending? Hey, what happened? Why is there an ambulance here? Some guy in 1E had a seizure in front of his classroom. Whoa, was he an epileptic or something? It beats me. His name's Young Ho. Well, that's what one of his classmates told me. Young Ho? Never heard of him. Yeah, no surprise there. Pretty sure he's one of those guys that hangs out at internet cafes after hours playing spacecraft. <laughs> Oh, wow, no wonder. Those guys usually keep to themselves. I feel kind of sorry for them. Another incident. This school's going nuts. Damn, another one bites the dust, eh? Whoa, is that young hoser? You better hope the police don't get involved with this young gil. Hey, why are you assholes looking at me? I may have given them a hard time, but I'm hardly the one causing seizures around here. Young gil, enough. Your dirty mouth and antics aren't helping. How could this happen? Yaho never had any problems like this. I swear, I didn't do anything this time. I'm going to the hospital right after school. I want to see him. Seriously, are your people get staph infections there and die? It's not worth it, babe. Stop calling me babe. I'd rather catch a staph infection than listen to another word out of your mouth. Wait, I'm coming with you. Ma'am, please stay here. His parents have already been notified. They'll be at the hospital soon. But I'm his teacher. Then please attend to the other students. We'll make sure he's taken care of. Okay, let's go. Young Ho. He'll be fine, Miss Song. I know it. Oh, look at Seho looks so creepy. He knows what happened. Seho knows everything. He's known what's happened the entire time. I hope so, Seho. I hope so. He was so close to escaping. And now the relic is back in her hands. She's too powerful now. Sehua High has a huge problem on its hands. I need to bring Young Ho back, or he'll be trapped in the coma forever. Poor Young Ho. What happened to him? What's really going on here? He had my pendant. Maybe I should call my grandmother. Okay! So, the thing is, I don't know if that was the best ending we could have gotten, or that was just the ending, and it's supposed to end in tragedy, because there's a coma too, which takes place after this in the same world. Was it supposed to end like that? Or what? Or was that just me playing bad? I feel like there was a way to escape though, because Yasol said he was so close to escaping. Like, I feel like doing the things like upgrading your report card and like studying, those were all things that I felt were extra that you didn't need to do. They were like side quests. And because of the presence of side quests, I feel that if you do everything perfectly, there's a way to escape. I'm gonna have to take a look into it because clearly I don't know. I could have missed something. I don't know. I don't know. But I'll, I'll find out for you guys and I'll see if it's within the scope of this video to get that ending. I'll see. So apparently I need to play the entire game from scratch all over again to get the best ending. So what I'm gonna have to do is I did everything correctly except what you have to do is you're supposed to go to the computer lab on the fourth floor of the main building uh, that you saw in one of the episodes. In one of the episodes I ended up there when you go through the security room or like the headmaster's room where he keeps tabs on everyone. And you actually have to go to the room 
with the computers, go into the computer, and you have this option of choosing your grade by, like, hacking into the computer, you know? Um, but you're supposed to choose not to do that. But you actually have to go to that computer and choose no, so the game goes, okay, you didn't do that. But, like, I didn't- I raised my grade normally, except you actually have to go to the computer and say no to changing your grade through hacking just to show that you're not gonna cheat. I don't know, it's kind of weird, isn't it? So basically, I raised my grade in all three of the subjects that you're supposed to do, but I can't get the best ending because I didn't go to the computer, which is really stupid because it doesn't matter because I didn't rate I'm not gonna raise my grade through that means anyways but you have to go there and say no to raising your grade through that means just so the game knows you're an honest person but why would I need to go to the computer if I raise my grade through studying like the math question it makes no sense to me it's very very stupid but I have to play through the entire game again from scratch to get the best ending so I'm gonna do that in another video there's no way I'm gonna do that right now that is a shame but Oh well. So I'll make an entire video about the best ending, like I'll show you, I'll just hit record, I'll start the game, and I'm gonna show you the steps, like okay, we gotta do this, then we gotta do that, we gotta do that, and then I'll show you guys the best ending of the game. I'll do that in a day or two, I promise. I'll get it up, okay? Anyways, sorry about that. Kinda sucks, but I don't have time to spend like two hours <laughs> getting the best ending of the game right now, at this minute, so my apologies. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video, as always. Peace.